Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 7, Lesson 7, Compare and Contrast Galaxies. We're going to start by going over some of the key vocabulary words that you'll be hearing in today's reading. Our first word is astronomical, really large, enormous in number, size, or distance. Our next word is atoms, the tiny particles from which all substances are made. Our next word is cluster, a number of things of the same kind that are together in a group. Our next word is fuse, which means to join together. Our next word is irregular, uneven, not regular in shape, size, or other characteristics. Our next term is light years, distance traveled by light over a period of years, a measure of length used in astronomy. And our last word is spiral, curved in shape, gradually winding around a center point. We are now going to move into today's reading. Isn't space amazing? The thing that may amaze you most is how much distance there is between the planets in our solar system. No wonder they call it space. Now that we have reached the edge of our solar system, do you want to see more closely what lies in the center? Before you can understand what lies beyond our solar system, you need to know a little more about what stars are. And the best place to start is with the star that lies at the center of our solar system that you see every day, our very own sun. The sun is much brighter and bigger than all the rest of the stars because we are so much closer to our star than we are to any other star. We only see our star, the sun, in the daytime because that's when we're facing it. And when the sun lights up our skies, it is so bright that we can't usually see any other stars in the daytime. You can't tell just by looking that there is no way a spaceship could land on the sun. It's a big mass of incredibly hot gas. There's no solid surface to land on. The sun, like all stars, is made mostly of a gas called hydrogen. Hydrogen atoms in the center of the sun crash into each other under intense heat and pressure. The hydrogen atoms fuse, or join together to form another gas called helium. And this fusion creates energy you can see and feel in the form of light and heat. So hydrogen turning into helium produces vast amount of energy and is what causes the sun to shine. The amount of heat and light being produced by a star determines its color. The surface of our sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit not nearly as hot as the inside of the star. Even though 10,000 degrees is really hot compared to boiling water, our sun is still only considered a medium hot yellow star. Some stars are even hotter, and some are not as hot as our sun. In fact, our sun is not as hot as it used to be. Scientists believe that all stars are made of more or less the same things, hydrogen, helium, and smaller amounts of other basic substances. But just because stars are made from huge amounts of hydrogen and helium doesn't mean that all stars are the same. They aren't. The amount of substances or mass that makes up each star can vary, and the substances that make up some stars are more packed together than in others. Stars have different ages too. Some stars in the universe were literally just born yesterday, and some, like the sun, are believed to be billions of years old. But our sun is not at the end of its life either. Many scientists believe our sun still has billions of years yet to live. So stars can be very different from each other. Our sun seems large to us, and it is. In fact, it is so large that more than one million Earths could fit inside it. That's a lot of Earths, and just one Earth is pretty big. But believe it or not, our sun is small compared to many other stars. There are stars in the universe that are 2,000 times as big as the sun. Our sun seems very bright to us, and it is. But there are stars that are more than four million times as bright. Even so, there are stars that are smaller than our sun and some that are less bright. So you see, stars can differ in size, mass, color, brightness, temperature, and age. But one thing that most stars have in common is that they exist in groups called galaxies. Do you remember how we defined our solar system as a neighborhood of planets, asteroids, and other objects in orbit around a star? Well, a galaxy is a cluster of many stars that orbit around together as an even bigger neighborhood like a country. So a galaxy is basically a gigantic country of stars. But all galaxies are not the same. They come in many shapes and sizes. Some galaxies are spiral. Some galaxies are elliptical in shape. Still, other galaxies are irregular in shape with no particular pattern. The galaxy that our solar system is in is called the Milky Way galaxy, which is a spiral galaxy. When you are standing on Earth, you are in the Milky Way galaxy. If you look up into the sky on a very clear, dark night, away from the lights of a city, you can see a narrow band of thousands of stars going through the sky. 
When you look at this cloudy looking band, you are looking into the thickest, densest part of the Milky Way. The ancient Greeks called this band of stars the Milky Circle, and the ancient Romans called it the Milky Road. But guess what? When you stand outside of the Milky Way and look at it, it looks like a spiral. This is a view of a spiral galaxy like the Milky Way looking down on it. Astronomers know that the Milky Way galaxy know what the Milky Way galaxy looks like, but no person or spaceship has ever traveled outside of the Milky Way to take a picture of the whole galaxy. Scientists have figured out by using modern scientific instruments that the Milky Way is a spiral galaxy and looks very much like other spiral galaxies that we can take pictures of. As you can see, the spiral galaxy has a bright center or hub of many bright stars with star-studded arms swirling out from it amid clouds of gas. How many stars do you think there are? in one galaxy. A single galaxy usually contains between one billion and a few hundred billion stars. And that's not even counting any planets or other objects that may be in orbit around all of those billions of stars. In addition to billions of stars, galaxies also contain clouds of gas and pieces of dust, which can eventually come together to form new stars. And don't forget, galaxies also include the space in between the stars that are in it. There is a huge amount of space in space. Stars in the Milky Way galaxy can be 100,000 light years away from each other, or they can be five light years away from each other, but most are somewhere in between. A light year is the distance that, travel, that light travels in one year. Light travels at a speed of 186,282 miles per second. So one light year is nearly six trillion miles. That's about 6,000 billion miles. And you thought a billion was big. Well, as you can see, stars in the same galaxy are very far away from each other. Those are astronomical distances. Astronomers use different kinds of powerful telescopes to see even more distant parts of the Milky Way galaxy. Some of those telescopes are on Earth, and some are in orbit around Earth. And there are even a few telescopes zooming through our solar system. Astronomers share their observations their photographs, and the data that they gathered with each other, and luckily with us too. Even with all of our powerful equipment, there are still things in the Milky Way galaxy and beyond it that no one has ever seen. Sometimes there is something in the way, like a star or another galaxy, and some things, there are, and some things are still too far away, even for our most powerful telescopes. There are more stars and galaxy in the universe than we can even imagine. As you look at the Milky Way, you may wonder about the other galaxies out there. One of the closest galaxies to the Milky Way galaxy is called the Andromeda Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is a spiral galaxy like our Milky Way. Even though Andromeda is the closest spiral galaxy to our galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy is still very far away, and there is still much that remains unknown about it. Several other small irregular galaxies lie between the Milky Way Galaxy and the Andromeda Galaxy. Now you know a lot more about our school's space address. We live on the planet Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun in our solar system, one of four small rocky planets. Our solar system is just one planetary system located in one of the spiral arms of the Milky Way galaxy. You may be thinking about all of the other galaxies that exist besides our galaxy. There are billions of galaxies in the universe. Another astronomical number, Wait, you may be thinking, let me get this right. There are billions of galaxies and all of them have billions of stars in them? Wow, that's so big, I can't even get my mind around it. The universe truly is an incredibly gigantic and vast space. You may now move on to Unit 7, Lesson 7, Google Form.